what a what a wonderful church that nothing separates us from the love of God. What a wonderful church that we are accepted as we are. What a wonderful church that we are loved here. What a wonderful message. When sometimes we hear the golden rule and it's turned around to beat us up, that really we've heard this morning that it's an opportunity to love ourselves. And what wonderful progress from this church that that message is shared now around the world, not only through the internet, but soon we'll be streaming. So the acceptance and the love and the message that we feel here can be heard. You know, sometimes I think we take this church and really our community in Los Angeles for granted. We have so many opportunities. We have so many services and activities that we can participate in. But the message of this church will soon be available, you know, in Topeka, Kansas, and Roanoke, Virginia, and in Bangkok, and in Painesville, Minnesota, where I grew up. And that is one of the great things about go coming to this church and serving this church, and as I ask for your tithes and offerings to support this church. It is a great message that we have and that we can share with others. Please join me in prayer. God, thank you for the wonderful opportunities that we have here. Thank you for your love and your acceptance. And give us the strength to accept that love and to love ourselves. Give us the direction now and the guidance as we, as we provide the, the offerings. And we thank you for the means even during difficult times that we have the ability to share something with you. Yes. We ask for your guidance to those who are directed to spend that money, and may it all be in the glory of your name. Yes. We pray this in the name of the living Christ. Amen. Amen.
Reverend Dana, oh, yes. before you pray, oh. can, can I ask that people do one thing? Love yourselves. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Give yourselves a big old hug. Thank you. You're welcome. I had to do that. You never know with Alex. So. <laughs> St. Augustine, and uh, I know a lot of us aren't too sure about that saint stuff, but I actually don't know his first name. So the guy who some town in Florida is named after once said, <laughs> Preach the gospel, and when necessary, use words. Amen. Preach the gospel, and when necessary, use words. And I just want to recognize that you, uh, Alex here, because when we talk about unconditional love, Alex is one of my heroes as far as. And I think one time I actually um, heard him stand up and say, I love you all. And it's before I really knew him, and I thought, this guy's crazy. He can't love everybody. <laughs> but he really does. And I just want to say, Alex, that I find it admirable and actually sometimes annoying. <laughs> because you do it far better than I do. And Alex just has this energy of like 10,000 chihuahuas. <laughs> communion with someone you can see eye to eye with. <laughs> and for the record, I'm taller. <laughs> Don't surprise me. <laughs> God, we thank you for the gift of laughter. And as we come to this table, to really focus on this table and what it means. Help us to lift up our hearts so that those hearts of ours can be returned to us, so that we can feel the power of your love, the love that we can take to others, and also the love that we can keep to ourselves. Help us to love ourselves. Help us never again to say, I'm harder on myself than everyone else. Help us strike that from our vocabulary. Help us not to look for approval except within our own heart, the heart that you have placed in us. Help us to remember that, Christ, you loved yourself as you love us. And help us to keep that long, that love strong and vibrant and passionate no matter what any DSM whatever, no matter what priest says, no matter what pastor told us, no matter what church told us, yeah. that you tell us, yeah. I love you, you love yourself. Mm -hmm. And we pray this as we come to this table that is brimming with your passionate love. Yes. And we pray this in your name. Amen. Amen.